So you'd like to ride a motorbike, right? But you don't think you can because you might be vertically challenged. Well, news for you, I am vertically challenged. I have a probably 30 inch, sometimes I feel like even a 29 inch inseam. So this seat right here is actually 31.3 inch seat height. So as you can imagine with the 31.3 31 seat height, now this is on the center stand, but this seat does not really kind of like a cruiser bike uh, style bike. So being 31.3, if I get on this thing, see I'm actually sitting here, I can't put my feet flat, but I can, I'm kind of on my tiptoes, okay? And that's that's okay because I got plenty of balance. But sometimes when I'm at a red light, I'll just put this foot flat and I'm kind of just leaning to the side, keeping my legs straight. But normally if I just come to a stop, I have to kind of put my tiptoes up. And that's kind of, I mean, there's a lot of things you can do for that. In fact, I, I get a lot of comments from people on my channel that ask me, would they be comfortable on this bike? And they're like 6'1", 6 6'2". 6 I think I've had even taller people ask me that. And the only thing about that is you got the floorboard here, see? So it's just a little tricky. If it, My legs are straight out right now, okay? Excuse my shorts, but I'm just kind of running around. I'm not going any far, anywhere, diff, uh, anywhere far tonight. But yeah, I got, I got my legs straight out. And the problem is, if you have longer legs, you're going to be, you, you would maybe be a little cramped on this. So I tell people that, that ask me that might be over six foot tall, I always say in the comments when I respond, I say, just be careful because this does have a floorboard and, and it's, you, you, you can, you can see where you might be a little cramped with this, this setup right here, you know? At least I would. I mean, with, with the 30 inch inseam, I'm fine, but it's like perfect for me. But I'm just saying, if you are a little taller, you might want to check out, you, you definitely want to sit on this, see if you can ride it before you buy something like this. Now they do make extenders where you can get like, um, hang on a second. You can get the, uh, there's a guard, and I saw some of you guys have that. There's like a, uh, engine guard or something that you can affix to this and then it comes down like this and there are bars well you can you can get these like pegs that mount to that bar and I, I thought about doing that because that would give me some like kind of like this where I can just put my legs on the pegs you know my feet on the pegs I, well, that might be fun now there's a there's other things you can do you can get a different seat with this bike there's aftermarket seats where see this hump right here you can actually uh, remove that I think it's just foam so I've seen people have their seats um, they ship them somewhere and they have this uh, a lot of overseas places will do that like I don't know if you want to trust shipping your seat somewhere but technically if you know anything about upholstery you can let me show you this. You can basically see this seat. It's just stapled on here. This upholstery, upholstery. So you can technically take this off, and you can uh, get the, remove that hump because if you're taller, I I I sit right here. I can't really sit back here. I can, but my legs are like too short then to reach anything you know so I feel kind of weird but you can remove the hump and basically you just take got to be careful and <clears throat> take that off a lot of staples it would probably be unusable after you removed all these so be careful with that but you know it's just foam you can see the foam right here it's just foam but you can buy aftermarket seats um, I don't know if 
there there's really lower seats for this if if you guys know leave in the comments okay if you can find a lower seat for this but I I'm not sure so yeah thanks to mom and dad I'm a little vertically challenged but it is what it is I always kid people I say well when you're shorter and you get older that's a good thing because if you fall you're closer to the ground you don't have to worry about things unless you were like six foot five and you fell like a big tree when you're short and you're old and you fall you're closer so I mean I always got to look at the positive things in life right you could play the maybe maybe game all day long maybe if I was taller I would have been able to advance further in football or something maybe if I was taller I would have been taken more uh, seriously in business and and been able to do better in business or uh, go further in business they say they say taller people actually get more respect in business and I really I noticed that unless you're Napoleon or somebody right but no in, in in business people that are tall just seem to have all the the like leadership positions and I don't know why that is I just think it's a, a, a kind of a domineering thing when you're taller people just size you up no pun intended but they size you up differently you're taller you get more respect I think as a man so I, I've noticed that not that I don't get respect I'm just saying I, I think overall people that are taller get more respect and I think that's actually been proven but what can you do so when you're short or you have a short inseam you got to be careful when you but just randomly go out and buy a motorbike you got to make sure it fits you first so do your homework every every uh, bike online you can go and and look at the statistics and the specifications on the seat height they call it again on the Honda ADB 150 it is 31 point three inches and there's a lot of bikes folks out there that are uh, have a lower seat height than that they really do especially if you want to get into a cruiser style bike so how do you know what bike is right for you I always say if you can and I urge you to go out and sit on them at least if, even if they don't let you ride them because you don't have your endorsement yet at least you can sit on the bike okay and you can just simulate riding put it up on the stand on the center stand stand and put your feet on the floorboards you know different positions and that's what I did on this um, on the center stand so I don't fall over of course and then I'm like you know what I think this is good for me so I really tested all that out before I bought it so yeah go to the different motorcycle dealerships and, and try them out sit on them know the seat height and compare it look at this car coming up here nice I love the older classics like that so I, I see a lot of people riding bikes especially if they get their first bike and the the, the bike is too tall for them and the problem with that is especially if it's a heavy bike right I mean hell you come to a red light or a stoplight and and you can't hold it up because you're like you know tipping it over it's just you don't have the stability that would make me nervous and I know it's hard to do at a dealership but if you can at least sit on them and you can uh, have the kickstand down like get it off the center stand put both feet on the on the ground on the floor there and, and just see how stable you are I mean it sounds like it's common sense stuff guys but you would believe how many people buy bikes and just realize this thing's too big for me or it's too heavy for me you know and and I don't know I just think that's just not doing your homework ideally the dealership would allow you to ride it but most dealerships won't allow you to test drive a bike test ride a bike I should say unless you have your endorsement and even even with your endorsement they may not let you I, I don't know what it is about that but it, it's just it is what it is maybe that depends on dealer to dealer but I know Honda wouldn't let me do this I wouldn't let me ride this no way 
I even had my, I think I, no, I actually didn't have my endorsement at the time. So maybe they did if I would have had my endorsement, I don't know. Anyway, see if you can ride it. If not, do the best testing you can and just get comfortable, uh, com comfortable feel for it. You can also ask the dealership if they do have different seat height combinations. Now some bikes actually do come with a lowering kit or you can lower the seat. So <clears throat> I've seen that on different manufacturers. So make sure you ask about that. And if it's, let's say it's the bike of your dreams and you don't want nothing else and you've always wanted one of these bikes and it's just a tad too, too high, well, you can probably find somebody that will make a custom seat for you. I mean, it may be worth it. If I mean, you might have to spend 500 to a thousand dollars on it for a custom seat. But you know what? If it's going to make the difference of you being able to get out there and ride versus sitting on the couch, and yeah, it might be worth that extra dough. You know. So when you're on a lighter bike the stability underneath you is not as important as something weighs like eight nine hundred pounds this bike soaking wet is still under 300 pounds so i don't really feel like i'm ever even though i have to kind of go on my tiptoes when i stop i don't ever feel like i'm going to lose this thing it's just so light it doesn't bother me but some of these bigger motorcycles that could be a problem and you could always um, opt to get platform shoes kind of go back to the you know 70s style but seriously though you can get some boots <clears throat> that have really thicker soles and that that might give you another inch or two just with the with the boot on there's all kind of ways i think the more important thing is i mean gosh they, they make so many different bikes and models and when it's all said and done <clears throat> the key is just to be able to get out there and ride and not focus on the details so much but yeah this bike's been good to me it it serves its purpose um i wish it was a little lower the seat <clears throat> but it's not a deal breaker I could I could buy a Corbin. I don't know. You guys tell me the ones the folks who've got the Corbin seats. Did you notice them? Did you notice the seats after you replaced it get any lower, or it's about the same height? To me, it kind of looks like about the same height, but I could be wrong. So if you have bought a Corbin seat for years, <clears throat> whether it's this bike or something else, let me know if you feel that it kind of lowered it a little bit. That would be kind of curious. But with the seat height you know aerodynamics too you got to make, make sure that when you do sit on the seat whatever bike it is these rays you know you can take the the center bolts out and i adjusted mine a little bit to give it a little more play um for the handle grips you know whether it's forward or back you can adjust these too and that's pretty easy to do so another idea is if you're out uh, shopping at a dealership and you're looking at and browsing all the eye candy in the bikes talk to this the service guys because <clears throat> they're the ones that's going to know the most about the bike as far as do they make custom seats for it or can the seat be lower lowered or raised you know those guys are going to be the perfect people to ask more than the sales rep but comfort is key when you ride any bike i like this bike a lot and it serves the purpose for what i do but I would not want to ride this thing like long distance. The, I'd have to get a seat, and I've said this in many videos, I'd have to get a softer seat. <clears throat> and I would probably um, have to kind of make shift some floor, or some like pegs that I can stretch my legs out. The only way I can stretch them out now is if I kind of sit back as far as I can in the hump here and just kind of rest my feet like that. And that gives me a little little relief off the off my back a little bit sometimes where I could kind of just stretch it out and uh, but it, it's not I would guess the only downfall I have of this bike is 
it's probably not the most comfortable thing there is as far as motorbikes out there but again you got to keep in mind was it designed for that no it's not designed for somebody to take off on this thing and, and ride around the country ride across the country on it right even though they do uh, I don't know how they put up with that pain of doing that but more power to you guys that do that I wouldn't want to do it not on this bike so you talk about um, those cannonball runs and stuff that I've heard you guys mention and some of the people that I follow do those maybe another day and another time I might consider that maybe on a different bike though but yeah I can just get on this thing put my feet up like this and just there's nobody around uh, just it, in the balance of this thing is look at it I mean I'm I can turn on I could turn this thing just with balancing it just by shift shifting my weight I could almost go around a pothole like this because it's just so easy to maneuver because it's light and I think the center of gravity kind of needs to be right where it is it's like right in the mid range of this bike so you just by shifting you can uh, really get a lot of balance you can get a lot of lean on this thing very easily just by kind of lean you know getting off the seat a little bit you know so easy but yeah I just don't think um, just because you, you're a shorter person there's ways to make it work riding a motorbike is just so much fun it, it just don't get discouraged if you're shorter because you will find something out there you just got to do your homework I think this bike right here had or has a taller seat height than any of the other bikes I've ever ridden believe it or not except for maybe the Kawasaki uh, KLR 600 or 650 I think that one might have been kind of like maybe equal to this I got to look at the specs but this bike right here the seat height on this is taller than anything I've ridden so far so that makes me feel pretty good that if you're a shorter rider you're gonna have plenty of options out there so I hope that that was useful I mean a lot of its common sense but some people forget about the obvious obviously <laughs> and the obvious to me would be to go out there and, and try to physically sit on one get up and close and personal with it and just see where your legs are where your feet are on the ground that's the more that's the most important and how heavy it is but again I'm about five foot eight if I stand up straight and I can get on the, and ride this bike with no problem with a 31.3 inch seat height so another thing I wanted to mention guys if if you are planning on getting a bike <clears throat> researching them go ahead and do yourself a favor and take that motorcycle safety course every state has them I've received comments on that uh, now out west uh, California I had a comment a couple weeks ago yeah, a guy was asking me how much it cost I think mine was really in Ohio the uh, motorcycle safety course that basic riders course um, it wasn't expensive at all I don't even think maybe it was 50 bucks or something I think it wasn't expensive guys not at all out west in California it's almost $500 to do a basic riders course and that's it's a little well everything out west is expensive but if you can it still might be worth a good investment especially if you're a beginner rider you're new you want to that that course will give you so much more confidence riding a bike I'm not kidding you man and I, I I've ridden all my life when I took that course that gave me just so much more confidence to be out here because it's crazy out here you got people that are um, using their phones or not paying any attention I know a lot of you comment and say hey I just bought my bike somebody commented today actually and they say they bought their uh, Honda PCX 150 they just bought it and I'm like nice right on so it doesn't matter man it doesn't matter what kind of bike you get just <clears throat> you gotta understand riding is a lot of fun 
and if you if you're sensible about it and you get the right bike that fits you there's no reason in the world that you can't get out here and enjoy it look at that that is awesome Impala 409 Impala SS Isn't that a beauty? Yeah, that is awesome I don't know what it is about classic cars, but <laughs> I love it. I grew up in the wrong era, man. I would have loved to have like a classic uh, b growing up in that age where there was the classic cars like the 60s and 70s, you know a snake Can't tell if it's dead. Don't, don't look dead. Probably playing dead Just kind of sunbathing Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was kind of useful for you. It's been a couple weeks since I've ridden. It's been like raining nonstop forever. You know, you got that springtime. April showers, right? Man, all it does is rain around here. So we finally got a nice weekend, and I had to get out here and ride. But, hey, thanks to the new subscribers. I'm getting uh, folks every day now on my channel, subscribers, and that's awesome. So welcome. Again, my name is Scott, and if you're new to the channel, I have this bike, of course, but I ride uh, um, other bikes when I get the opportunity to. Thanks again for subscribing. I often ask myself, do I want to get another bike? And I think I love little sport bikes. I really do, but at the same time, I think a, a road trip would be fun on a just a really nice, nicely balanced, heavy cruiser i think that would be a lot of fun so we'll see man sky's the limit